This video is sponsored by Jawa.gg. Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to GTech. Now, you're probably wondering, how can I ship my gaming PC somewhere in the world? You clicked on this video after all. Maybe you're moving, or maybe you've sold your gaming PC like I have done with this one, and you gotta ship it across the country to someone, and you want it to arrive in one piece. So today, I'm gonna show you how to go about packing up your system to get it shipped out courtesy of Jawa.gg. So if you're selling your system, you're gonna need to weigh it and get the dimensions of it for the shipping label so the carrier knows kind of how big your box is gonna be. I'm going to assume that you've already done that and today we're just gonna cover how to actually go about packing the system to keep it nice and safe. So first things first, we wanna go about securing everything inside of the system. We don't want anything shifting around or bending and breaking because that's how you get a destroyed system. And there's two main components that you really have to watch out for and that's big tower CPU heat sinks and graphics cards. Those are a lot of weight hanging off the side of the motherboard that can very easily snap and just bang around inside your case. And when you've got a system that's like 50% tempered glass like this one, you don't want the buyer to have to piece all the little pieces of glass back together with super glue in their fingers. Ideally, the best thing to do is to remove the CPU heat sink and the graphics card entirely and to just put them back in their original boxes. This will ensure that those components themselves are nice and protected in their original packaging and you don't have to worry about all that weight hanging off of your motherboard. But if you're shipping a system with a much smaller CPU cooler like this Intel stock cooler or this liquid cooler, that's much less weight hanging off of the motherboard itself and you really don't have to worry about that. Now the good part about shipping a smaller system like this is that the graphics card is sitting pretty much right up against the power supply shroud. There's no real space underneath of it for gravity to kind of rip the graphics card out of the motherboard. So I'm not worried about removing the graphics card from this build. But still, we wanna pack it up nice and neat. And I use these handy things called Instapacks. They're these little bags that have two chemical packs in them. And when you mix the chemicals inside the bag, they start forming an expanding foam. So you just shove them inside of your system and let them expand around all of your components. Basically, this is just to help keep everything in place by filling all the empty space inside of your system. Now, while you have the system open and you're removing parts like your CPU cooler and your graphics card, it's always good measure just to give everything a nice dusting and cleaning. The new buyer doesn't want to sift through all of your dust. Trust me, I wouldn't. And it's also not a bad idea to just give the entire case a wipe down. Whether you like it or not, we're still living in a COVID infested world. I don't have COVID and neither does anyone in my household. It just gives me peace of mind knowing that the buyer's not gonna get any sort of weird germs or fingerprints or grossness that's just lingering on the case itself. And all I do is I give the system a nice little wipe down with some rubbing alcohol to kill any germs and clear up fingerprints and stuff. So now that all the prep work's done, it's time to go about actually packing up your system. You're gonna wanna remove anything kinda, you know, sticking out the back of your case like Wi-Fi antennas. And ideally, you just wanna put everything back in the original box that it came with. This is just a good general precaution to keep everything packed nice and neat the way that the original manufacturer of the case intended the case to be shipped out in. But being that you're shipping out a full system and not just an empty case, you're gonna wanna take some extra steps, namely extra padding in general. And the way I go about this is just wrapping the whole case box in a bunch of bubble wrap. So while I go about doing that, let me tell you a bit about Jawa. Jawa.gg is the new marketplace for gamers to buy and sell PC components and full systems. Everything that you can find on Jawa's website is sold for a price reasonable with the current market with no scalpers allowed. That's right, the staff manually checks every single listing to ensure the item is being sold for a fair price and anytime something doesn't meet their standards, they get in touch with the seller to see what the deal is. Don't believe me? How about this RX 6600 XT I bought for just over 500 bucks a few days ago? What about these budget gaming systems that just sold recently? The PC I built in my last video sold that on Jawa. Not to mention the one I'm currently bubble wrapping was also sold on the platform. Jawa helps you out every step of the way with seller fees way lower than their competitors, and they prepay for shipping labels. I joined mostly because I have such a hard time selling systems to my local used market, and the fact that I've already sold five items and counting, and I've gotten to chat with and interact with the people who have bought my listings, means I get to talk to them on a more personal level. The Jawa community has been a blast to be a part of ever since I joined about a month ago. You can join their Discord server today to chat it up with staff members about features you'd like to see, come to the site, or even just to hang out with like-minded individuals who are sick of overpaying in the scalping market. And I don't mean to brag, but I'm currently in fifth place on the community leaderboards. Honestly, I can't recommend Jawa enough, and the fact that I'm now a verified seller alongside some of the best sellers on the platform is awesome to me. I'll include all the necessary links in the video description for you to give Jawa.gg a shot for yourself. 
Now, it's never a bad idea to have more layers of protection, and that's why I usually put systems in their original case box and put that box in another shipping box. This also gives me the opportunity to pack up any necessary component boxes that may have been used during building the system. This ensures that the buyer who purchased your system is going to have all your necessary manuals, splitters, SATA cables, and warranty information based on the serial numbers of the boxes. So ideally, you want to pack them down into as few boxes as possible. Now, if you have a lot of boxes, it's not a bad idea to just ship these separately from the main system. And because of this, you're going to want to make sure you measure the system and the component boxes as best as possible so that you can get a box that fits everything properly. You can get outer shipping boxes from pretty much anywhere, your post office, shipping stores, hardware stores, you name it. Normally, I would go to a place like Staples for something like this, but you can also order them online. I found a 10 pack of boxes for half as much money from Uline as it cost me at Staples. But because I only need to ship out this one system, I'm not going to worry about buying in bulk, and I'm just going to get a big moving box from Home Depot for less than $3. Now, my box is much bigger than this one, so I'm actually going to mark it and cut it down to size to keep everything nice and secure inside of the outer box. And like I mentioned, more protection is always better. And I found these little plastic corner protectors that just kind of keep your box corners more stable and less prone to caving in. And I found 50 of them on Amazon for just $10. I throw a couple of these corner protectors into each of the corners of the outer box, slide the bubble wrapped PC and the component boxes in as well, and you're pretty much good to go. So all you gotta do is tape up all the edges, maybe put a little note on there saying this side up for shipping, put the prepaid shipping label on there courtesy of jawa.gg, and then just take it to the drop off point for your shipping carrier. Now yes, shipping carriers can be kind of torturous to packages, but if you remember, we packaged all of the components inside of the computer to make sure that they don't shift around, put that computer in the original box with the original packaging, wrapped that box in bubble wrap to give it extra extra padding, put corner protectors on the inside of the box so that the corners don't get obliterated, stuffed the outer box with any additional packing material to keep everything from shifting it around, and taped the whole thing up nice and tight. So it's safe to say that your system's probably gonna be fine. But that's just about gonna do it for now. So if you're selling your system and you're shipping it out through Jawa, Congratulations on your sale. This is actually my second system that I've sold through Jawa. I gotta give a huge shout out to Jawa.gg for sponsoring this video, allowing me to show you how to package your system up nice and neat, and I'd like to thank the buyer for actually buying this system as well. But anyways, if you like this video, you know what to do, and if you want to see more stuff like this, make sure to get subbed down below, because I love making this stuff for you guys, and as always, have a good one. Honey, I'm a